Hi Cancer, this is your forecast for the month of February 2017. This is a general reading for Cancer Sun, Cancer Rising, or Cancer Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. Please remember that these are general readings and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a personal reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com provided on the link at the upper corner. If you have visited my site before, you'll need to clear your browser's cache for the schedule button to function properly. So Cancer, the first week of February, you are making a major change of some sort. There's a transformation taking place. And this is something that has been necessary for you. And this is profound as well. It's probably something that didn't happen suddenly. This is a progression. Slowly, bit by bit, there's been a, a change of some sort. Um, you can liken it to being in a cocoon and like a butterfly and then emerging into something else. So there could be some type of renewal for you. Uh, maybe you are empowering yourself in some way. For some of you, you are finishing up some unfinished business. You're closing a chapter out in your life. Maybe you're letting go of something. Maybe you are releasing something. Uh, it could be a change in your lifestyle or a change in your status somehow. Uh, personally, this could be marriage or divorce, or maybe you're starting or leaving a job, or uh, you're leaving home or you're coming home. Uh, relocation, ending a relationship, anything that is an agent of change for you somehow. Uh, but this indicates some inevitable ending, yet also some new beginning for you. Uh, so this is going to be a week where you are reinventing yourself. A situation is regenerating into a new form. So it doesn't matter how great the opportunity is on the horizon or what kind of obstacle you may be facing or just this great desire for self-preservation. You're going to reinvent yourself to meet that challenge. And this is going to be a week where you're going to want to break free. Any kind of environment that is keeping you confined in some way or leaving you in doubt or just stagnating, you're going to want to break out of that. This is going to be a week where you're very security minded and you are willing to take the bull by the horns and you're motivating yourself to make something happen. So again, you could decide that you want to end a relationship and yet you're able to do it in a way where um, there's no hard feelings. Uh, maybe you, you know, end a, one type of aspect of a relationship without damaging the friendship part of the relationship. Or perhaps you pick up a friendship that you, you know, had a long time ago or some relationship. Whatever it is, there's a good amount of flexibility in the situation. And so you're able to make some changes, whether there's something unexpected or in, unpredictable coming at you. Now, for some of you, you know, there's difficulty in making a change. Uh, you're afraid of that change and you're resistant to it. And so for you, you're stuck. There is an obsession with the situation and you're afraid to, you know, maybe take an extreme position or uh, maybe there's even some type of depression or maybe you had hopes for a particular future and and you're turning your back on that. So some of you may be in limbo. For others of you, you're being forced to give something up and something that you wouldn't voluntarily give up on your own. Uh, so there could be some kind of loss. 
For you, there may be a strong tendency to go over the negative, to think about the unpleasant, uh, to think about situations that you didn't feel good about and use that as an excuse to keep you exactly where you are. You are not willing to take a risk because of negative experiences that you've had in the past. And so when opportunities show up for you, you, your first response is to close the door. So for some of you, you have become too isolated, too self-sufficient, too self-contained, and you may not have any kind of motivation to be flexible. In, in fact, you may be involved in discussions where you're so close-minded that you're not allowing uh, any constructive dialogue to take place. You would rather just, uh, it's my way or the highway. You'd rather turn and, and walk away from discussions rather than hammering out your differences with another person. So if you stay stuck in denial or you are resistant to making changes that could improve life for you, obviously you're going to be stuck in limbo in a negative situation. So this is a week for you about, you know, again, reinventing yourself. And so if you need to make some changes financially, emotionally, physically, or psychologically, you're encouraged to do that in order to allow you to reach the top of your game or find a better path uh, to your pursuits. Now, this may have to do with some memories. Maybe you're letting go of some memories or some past influences, or maybe you're holding on to something and just simply reveling in the past and finding it very difficult to move on.